Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to add a calendar slicer in our Power BI repo. So if you don't know the same, please proceed by watching this video. So by default, we don't have any kind of date slicer in our Power BI report. So I'm going to uh, tell you how you can create your existing date range slicer in a calendar slicer. Okay. So requirement is if you select any random date, from your date uh, calendar, your whole report should get filtered out for that particular date. So let's jump into the practical. So as of now, I have created two visuals. One is the total sales by DC name and another one is the total sales by sales type. In your case, the visuals may be different or you may have a number of visuals in your report. So first of all, I'm going to add a date range slicer just select a slicer visuals and add date into that okay so here you can see the, our date range slicer is get created now i want to convert this range into a calendar if i select any one date and our whole report should get filter according to that now just select the slicer go to the format go to the slicer settings and change this style to after so your day a second date will get disabled okay which means it will allows you to choose only first date and uh, by default whatever date you have on the second date it will get filter for that time span now what we want i want to filter my whole report for that date only which I have selected from the, my first date okay so for that which means it get, it should get filtered for that uh, minimum date, right? So I'm going to select this visual and just add a date filter in the filter on this visualization. Just add it and select top here, show the atoms bottom one. And again, you need to add a date, which will select the earliest date and click on apply. Similarly, you need to perform these steps for the another visual also. If you have multiple visuals in your uh, report, you need to follow same steps for the all the visuals. Just select that visual, add a date on the filter filter on this visual. Select bottom yen, top yen, choose bottom one, and again you need to add a date and click on apply. Okay, now you need to adjust this slicer according to that. Your user should not see the second date. Okay and just disable the slider for that and just i'm going to increase the size of values okay now if i select any date here you can see my whole report is get filter so here you can see what date i have selected from my calendar it also displays that and your whole report will automatically get converted or get filtered according to your calendar filter so i hope you understood how you can convert your date range slicer into a calendar slicer if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you